Rolex is the king of luxury watchmaking. Yes, you can argue with that, but it remains factual. Folks, as the most renowned high-end watch company by a significant margin, Rolex's catalogue is brimming with exceptional models that garner immense desire. We want to do something fun today. We are going to unveil the most coveted Rolexes. We will take into account a blend of sales figures, inquiries and market value. Why? Because we want you to be surprised when you hear certain names come up. Ready? The Rolex Daytona. Of course, the first on our list is the Daytona. It is Daytona. Anyway, folks, the Rolex Daytona boasts an illustrious history, captivating motorsport enthusiasts and collectors alike. Introduced in 1963, its association with racing legend Paul Newman propelled it to unparalleled fame. The Daytona's distinct tachymeter bezel, precision chronograph movement and classic design make it a timeless symbol of elegance and performance, fetching astronomical prices at auctions. Now, which Daytona timepieces made our list? First, we have the stainless steel and ceramic Daytona. The Daytona reference 116500LN in stainless steel and ceramic has been a bestseller since its introduction in 2016. This Daytona has a stainless steel case, black cerachrome ceramic bezel, and steel oyster bracelet. A black dial with silver rings and a white panda dial with black rings surround the watch's three sub-dials. These ceramic and steel Daytona watches, available in various dial colours, are nearly impossible to find at official retailers and typically sell for more than twice their original rates. Coming in second is the yellow gold and green Daytona John Mayer. Although the yellow gold Daytona reference 116508 debuted in 2016, its popularity did not skyrocket until much later. Interesting, don't you think? John Mayer's 2019 video prediction that the green dial yellow Daytona would become a future collector is often credited with sparking unprecedented interest in this particular Rolex. The Daytona John Mayer has a vivid green dial with a few red accents and is made entirely of 18 karat yellow gold, from the bezel to the bracelet. The secondary market pricing for this Rolex is roughly twice as much as its original retail price. Coming in third is the Everose Gold Daytona Rainbow. We bet you know that certain collectors have always sought coveted Daytona watches set with gemstones by the manufacturer. However, the popularity of precious metal chronographs adorned with diamonds and vivid sapphires reached new heights in 2018 with the arrival of Rolex's Everose Gold Daytona reference 116595 RBOW. It was an instant hit with celebrities and even some watch enthusiasts who normally wouldn't wear diamonds wanted one. Rolex has acknowledged that they too would be pleased to sport a Daytona Rainbow timepiece. Several variations of the Daytona Rainbow are available in Everose Gold, including one with a black dial, one with a total diamond pave dial, and one with a diamond pave bracelet. They all have a bezel set with a rainbow of sapphires, a secondary market price that begins far above half a million dollars and a case and bracelet made of 18 karat rose gold. Next is the Rolex Submariner. Who doesn't love the Submariner? The Rolex Submariner remains an iconic timepiece celebrated for its association with adventure and exploration. From divers to enthusiasts worldwide, this watch holds a special place in the hearts of those seeking style and functionality. Its robust construction, water resistance and luminescent markers make it the ultimate diver's companion. The Submariner's timeless design transcends all occasions, whether underwater or at a formal event. First of its kind on our list is the stainless steel black ceramic Submariner. You might want to listen to this. Okay, so Rolex's original Submariner had a black bezel and dial to match the rest of its all steel construction. This particular construction and color scheme is still famous for a Submariner. However, newer models often have cerachrome ceramic bezels rather than aluminium. For over 60 years, Rolex's Submariner's watch line was limited to 40mm cases. In 2022, however, the company upgraded the series with slightly larger 41mm cases. Two examples of steel and black ceramic Submariners that are still available to purchase today are 1. No Date Submariner 114060 40mm 2. Submariner Date 116610LN 40mm 
Moving on. Coming in second today is the Green Submariner. In 2003, in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Submariner, Rolex introduced the first model with a green bezel. Since then, green Submariner watches have skyrocketed in popularity, becoming one of the brand's best sellers. Next is the Submariner Bluesy. Now, in the past, two-tone Submariner watches have not sold as well as their all-steel or all-gold counterparts. However, bluesy models, those with bright blue bezels and dials, have seen a significant increase in demand. The 41mm model that is still available and the 40mm model that has been discontinued include modern serochrome ceramic bezels. Used two-tone Submariners were originally widely available at steep discounts, but newer Rolex bluesy watches fetch significantly more than their original retail costs on the secondary market. So just in case you want to buy one, you know what to do. Next on our most sought after list is the Rolex GMT Master II, the globe trotter's choice. Designed for frequent travelers and jet setters, the Rolex GMT Master II is a coveted timepiece with a practical edge. The watch's ability to track multiple time zones, thanks to its 24-hour bezel and independent hand, make it an essential companion for those constantly moving. Functionality seamlessly blends with Rolex's signature style and reliability, appealing to adventurers adventurers and world travelers alike. And of course, we have the Rolex Daydate, the President's Choice. This one exudes power and prestige. Introduced in 1956, it was the first watch to display the date and the day of the week spelled out in full. Available exclusively in precious metals like platinum and gold, the Daydate commands admiration from world leaders, celebrities and influential personalities. Coming in next is the Rolex Explorer the spirit of adventure. Looking at this watch, you can easily tell that it pays tribute to the spirit of exploration and mountaineering. Following the successful ascent of Mount Everest by Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, this watch embodies durability, legibility and ruggedness. Its elegant yet straightforward design and exceptional performance have made it a beloved timepiece for adventurers and outdoor enthusiasts worldwide. Then there is the Rolex Sea Dweller. Super fans would know that the Submariner was superseded in 1967 by Rolex's even more advanced diving watch, the Sea Dweller. The Sea Dweller was designed for saturation divers with its helium escape valve and increased water resistance rating. The Sea Dweller range now includes several extreme diving watches, some of which have developed a devoted fan base. First is the Sea Dweller 50th Anniversary. To mark the 50th anniversary of the Sea Dweller, Rolex introduced reference 126600 in 2017. There were two primary ways in which this anniversary model varied significantly from its forerunners. To begin with, it had a 43mm case, a significant upgrade from the earlier 40mm models. We loved seeing that. We had never seen a Sea Dweller with a Cyclops magnification date above the date window before, and this one did. The Crimson Sea Dweller branding is a beautiful touch that recalls the original double red Sea Dweller versions. One of the most sought after Rolex professional models is the Sea Dweller Reference 126600, waterproof to 4,000 feet. Then we've got the Sea Dweller Deep Sea James Cameron. Fun fact, in 2012, James Cameron accomplished a first by completing a solo dive to a depth of 35,787 feet in the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Two years later, in recognition of that accomplishment, Rolex introduced the Sea Dweller Deep Sea James Cameron model. A deep sea blue dial with a blue to black gradient and a green deep sea lettering matching Cameron's submersible hue set the James Cameron edition apart from the original Deep Sea. Three James Cameron Deep Sea references have been produced by Rolex thus far, each including a 44mm steel case water resistant to 12,800 feet and a serochrome ceramic bezel. They are the Deep Sea 136660 James Cameron, Deep Sea 126660 James Cameron, Deep Sea 116660 James Cameron. Next, we we have the ladies Rolex Datejust watches. 
Would it surprise you to learn that the most popular Rolex model is the Datejust for women? The Ladies Datejust is the best-selling model in the whole collection of this company, which is better renowned for its rugged utility watches and ultra-luxurious men's statement timepieces. While Rolex's Lady Datejust collection is designed mainly for women, the 31mm and 66mm Datejust models remain best-sellers. The first is the Lady Datejust. The Rolex Lady Datejust first appeared in 1957 and is the smallest of the company's Datejust watches. The date display and Cyclops magnifying lens at 3 o'clock remained the same as the men's version, but the case was smaller. Notably, the Rolex Lady Datejust has never been offered in a quartz version. Instead, it has always been powered by a self-winding movement. The Lady Datejust's case size was 26mm for most of its existence, but in 2015, Rolex slightly increased it, making it 28mm. The Lady Datejust collection is incredibly diverse, with many case sizes, bezel types, smooth, fluted or diamond, bracelet styles, oyster, jubilee or president, and dial colours. It bears repeating that a president bracelet, generally associated with the Day-Date line, can be worn with a full gold or platinum Lady Datejust watch. Coming in next is the Datejust 3.1. The Datejust 3.1 is the next size from the Lady Datejust and features the same flexible design options. It has a larger 31mm case, full gold and platinum models, as are more reasonably priced steel or two-tone versions with Oyster or Jubilee bracelets are also available. Diamonds, including the dial, bezel and bracelet, can be added anywhere on the watch. Did we miss any model? 